Alright, it's 220. Time to go pick up Ken. We got all the gear. We got plans. Check the weather. We're ready to go. Heading up to Norman. And uh, once I get up there, may have some uh, late lunch with Ken and his dad. May do a little tour around Norman. We'll see. Oh, there's Ken right now. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Man, you are ready. I like that. I like to lock the door. Hey, be careful when you open this door. There's a girl. early. <laughs> Hand me that cup, please. <laughs> Don't you hate that when I say you're like, I can't reach yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Man, I am so proud of you. You are on time. Hey, perfect. But I do want to go, uh, hey, you want to check out the house real quick while I say goodbye to my family? Uh. I let you in the house. I go hug Carrie Ann at the club and I say bye. I'm going to put my sunglasses in here. Right there. Let me go. Uh, hey, so I got me some new prescription glasses. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. Yeah. You like this? Yeah. Uh, can, can you see behind me as well? Because I had some when I was a kid just like that, and I can see behind me. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Huh. They, they were $3, but man, they were worth it. <laughs> you just do what you need to All do. All right. Buckle up. Safety first. Hey, you just tell me if you're too hot, too cold. No, I'm good. All right. <clears throat> All right, so matters of great importance. So this is Ken, this is a good friend of mine. Since uh, 1997, we worked together at Grant Thornton. And uh, Ken sat right next to me. And Where do I look, is it up here? Yeah. That's it? Ken helped me learn uh, COBOL. I had never programmed in COBOL. I had never used Windows. I had only used Macintosh and Unix. So I was brand new to you know some of the basic stuff, like you, you know basic Windows operations. I I knew what I wanted to do, I didn't know how to do it. And I actually helped you, or you just... Yeah, yeah, you really? helped me. Oh. Yeah, I, I, simple stuff, too. Like, hey, Ken, you know, how do you get to the file explorer? <laughs> I'm glad you remember that. I don't yeah. have any recollection of this. And in turn, this. I translated uh, Stuart speak. Stuart was a guy that was brilliant. Um, a but, savant of sorts. A savant. He had a little trouble speaking in normal people language, layman terms. And so... There were various times Ken would need a, an algorithm or something, and Stuart would explain it perfectly in computer science language. And so I would help translate that. I do remember that. Just real quickly checking my messages. I'm not going to do that. There's a new voicemail from my dad. My Cancel. <laughs> He's the guy we're going to see, or I'm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he is moving into an assisted living facility. It's actually independent living. Okay. But they're assisting him with meals. <laughs> that's it is very, I, that's there's a lot I of it, yeah. It's assisted from that perspective, Man. but there, yeah, there's no health care or any kind of stuff going on there. You could bring in like some home health care stuff uh -huh. you know they they uh, they give those folks access but so but so they're providing breakfast lunch and dinner mm -hmm. um, is it a common area or do they bring yeah, it to you common area and he's got a little kitchen and you know uh, he could cook stuff in his at his place his little apartment it's a little one bedroom and uh, yeah no and they have activities they play bingo and um, I'm sure they have Call of Duty tournaments. Yeah. You know, they, they play they play Fortnite there, a lot of the elderly. Spectre. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember that game? No. That was that was In fact we've date, we've dated games. this video by even saying Fortnite and Call of Duty. <laughs> well Spectre, Which, Spectre tells it all, man. That was one of the first uh, multiplayer tank games out there. I remember playing that on the that, network. Have you started any of either one of these? No. No. Look at that. Saving this, it one up. Is, this one it's clearly one, the one is. Yeah, you're getting ripped off on that one. Yeah, agree. It's Kirkland for you. <clears throat> well, I'm a Costco consumer. 
Yeah, I'm a big fan. It's kind they of do amazing. They work there. Yeah, their water, I mean, it's as good as water, you know. <laughs> Tell you what, it tastes like water to me. Yeah, it's just, what's the difference? And a 32 cents pallet, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've had no movement on the voice work. Uh, I've, I've, I've s created some audio samples. Well, let's listen to one of those. Do we want to listen to Absolutely. any of these? Absolutely. Okay, this might be entertaining. So can let's you see. can you also announce that we're going to listen in the voice of Theodore Fagrat? What? It, oh, presented with yeah. Theodore. Presented by Theodore. Hello, friends. I am Theodore Fagrat, and I present to you now the voice samplings of Mr. Kenneth Langdon. He prefers to be called Kenny or Ken. Do not call him Kenneth. But again, I am Theodore Fagrat and presenting the sound of Ken Langdon. This is exciting. What is this sound? What is it about? Somebody tell me what is this sound? Get the phone. Is the phone ringing? Somebody answer the phone. Now, before we answer any questions about this voice, question. <laughs> let us listen to the rest of the voices. And okay. Hold all the questions till the end. Okay, holding the questions. But first, let me ask you a question. Just like fire, la 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 la. This is how I sing it, la 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 la. I personally hate that one. <laughs> hey, hey, what about what about cars five, man? Hey, hey, hey. Well, that one's got some potential. <laughs> yeah, need a little more material, but... Tell you this, it is good to practice. This is what you want to do. You want to practice? Practice a lot. It's good to practice. Not bad. I only have a few more here. There's only a few more, my <laughs> friends. Friends, there's only a few more. Hold on, you like this voice? This is a good voice here? You like this voice? This voice is a good one. Jimmy, Diane, I love you. You are my, you are my family. I love you so much. It's a good voice. <laughs> Lack of material, but okay. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. All right, I like that. All right, there's this. This is the final one. I'm oh, not going oh, to say there's this. one more. There's God. one more. I thought that it's was it. It's not the best one. <laughs> we. Do, I don't even know which one it is. Who works for chef? You work for chef. I want to meet the chef. You tell me who the chef is. Right now. I don't know. That may be similar to another voice. Uh, yeah, they're all very similar. I don't want to ruin your audition, but I've heard you do a lot of voices that are better than that. You I can't recall any of them. You can do better. <laughs> yeah, that that seems like maybe you just sat down and did some stuff. And well, that's in not that's not months of training. No, no. <laughs> in fact, maybe. Well, you know, when Elise had mentioned this, I need to get a coach. <laughs> I need a coach. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think trouble is with these coaches, they cost money. You have the flexibility in your voice. If you maybe targeted something, like those were all aimless and no material. Like maybe if you targeted and made up a character, like oh, if I had or fat well, well, you've got well, a character. These were just voices that came to be as I was driving or whatever, and the kids were in the car, okay. and I and I threw them in. I recorded right. them quickly yeah. to say, hey, let's see what this one is later. I think it's a fantastic and start. It's a, it's it's merely a start to kind yeah. of sample what. You know what's going on, but yeah, a script you're talking about. You're talking about scripting these things. Yeah, yeah. I'm on my way right now. Uh, I don't know if you recall my friend Kyle. He's a pilot, and he's going to fly me to Westheimer Field. Cool indeed. So we're on our way to the Addison Airport, and we're going to board a plane. What kind of plane are we flying, Kyle? Piper Arrow. Piper Arrow is what we're flying. You familiar? <laughs> you know, Dad was an air traffic controller in the, yeah. in the Navy, but the Piper Arrow is not uh, one not of the Navy. Not a Navy plane. It's apparently. Navy approved. It's it's Navy approved. I'm kidding. Anyway, <laughs> Til, uh, SEAL Team Three. Yeah, it's SEAL it. Team Three uses one. Uh, that's no. three members in a SEAL team. <laughs> and no weapons. <laughs> oh, I thought they were they were actual SEALs. Yeah, they're SEALs. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Well, Dad, I will. Uh, so I'll be up there shortly. Then. You know, I've got a lot of respect for air traffic control, man. They, they've got their stuff together. <clears throat> the guys that do that job mm -hmm. are very impressive. 
Well, he did it for a long time and then was an instructor at the University of Oklahoma when they had the first contract after Ronald Reagan fired the air traffic controllers. You know the story. Yep. And my dad was hired. They had the program at OU to teach minorities and women to be air traffic controllers. And that's that's how... That's how he met, met your mother. That's how... <laughs> no, no. They went, they went to high school together. <laughs> yeah. Educated minorities and women. And uh, my, my mom, who was a minority woman, was at, in the program. And that's where they met. And... Uh, <laughs> They really hit it off. <laughs> and the rest is history. My older brother was born and... <laughs> ah, good times. I wonder how much of that he remembers. Like, if you threw him in right now, like, how would he do? Did you know there was a gun range right there? Yeah, you know, I discovered that on about my 30th trip. Well, I don't remember that being. That's fairly new. Well, and by fairly, I, I mean within the last 10 to 15 years. I said kind of the same thing, and Courtney was like, no, no, that's been there. But, I was, you know, I've made this trip a number of times, and I, I, I only noticed it once. Ooh, what's this? So, what's that right there? What? It's called Zoe's Pizza and Pasta. Ooh. You're looking at the restaurant. Huh? Yeah. I was looking at the naked girl in the parking lot. It's amazing. You didn't even see her? Six, five, four, three. I think we're gonna make it. I think he's gonna make it too. That guy. That's he's, he's not moving any faster. He's just shaking. He his, was kind of running like he was barefoot, but he had shoes. He was moving his arms like he was going faster, but his feet were still touching the ground at the same pace. Are you familiar with Madison Airport at all? Um, just its proximity in, in Addison, but I've never been in it. So anytime you're going to go to the right at this point, it, um, it's, I'll be unfamiliar. Hey, we're turning right. I mean, I'm trying to think of other things we need to cover. There's uh, matters of great importance that we need to cover, and I can't remember what they are. <laughs> I can't remember what they are. Let me run you through some of the, the pre-flight briefing. Okay. So here's some basics. The door, there's one door. It's on your side. It's got two latches. One kind of at the front here and one at the top. Okay. You want to, when you're opening it, I mean when you're closing it, you want to latch the lower one first. Okay. If you don't, I've had problems where the top one won't catch. Okay. Um, if we have any kind of emergency, like if we make an emergency landing that's not on pavement, I'll ask you to just crack your door open before we land. So you'll just unlatch both latches. And that's so that if we get into a big crumpled ball, that they're still in the escape room. All right. Um, that won't actually open the door, they'll just unlatch. And that'd be uh, like essentially cracking it? It, it'll it'll be open if you pushed on it, but yeah, you don't have to open it. Open it, just, just unlatch, unlatch it. it. Unlatch it. Yeah, and let it just kind of yes. fly open as it needs to. Yes. Gotcha. Um, obviously, you want to make sure you have on your seatbelt. If if anything happens, I never take mine off. So you put yours on. Don't worry about it. Leave it on. Okay. But it's required that you know before landing, um, have it on. Gotcha. And on takeoff. All right. Um. There's no food or drink in the plane except for water. This one's mine, by the way. That's in case there's any kind of spillage. All right. Um, if there's a fire, there's a fire extinguisher under the seat behind us, like if it's a cabin fire, mm -hmm. if it's an engine fire or something, you don't worry about it, we'll be landing immediately, that kind of thing. Gotcha. Uh, if there's any kind of weirdness where we have to land in a field or anything when you get out you go to the back in fact even if we land on normal you, you don't want to go towards the prop oh yeah I, that's psh, psh, yeah well psh. it takes one time of somebody getting their arm chopped off and that now you feel like i need to say that okay so who were you with that their arm got chopped off do you remember that girl from dallas that ran into the prop and, oh, uh, but she wasn't with you. No, oh, right. no, it hasn't happened to me yet. Okay, I was just wondering if anybody you had taken on a flight. No, not. I see. You ever um, heard of this Duke's Ice House? I don't even 
open the door really before the prop is stopped, so I don't know that it'll ever be an issue. But yeah, that's a good. That's probably a good safety feature of or a good fundamental. Just don't get out until that thing stops. Yeah, you'll never get your arm chopped off if that thing's not moving. Right, and, and don't go towards any other plane. <laughs> don't. Well, yeah. Then there's the other plane. Yeah, there's the add-on. Now this truck is so big, I have to get out to get to the keypad. Understood. Now arriving. Hey, and I looked around. I didn't really have a bag to bring to vomit in if I need to. I, uh -oh. I don't suspect I'll be vomiting. Okay. Uh -oh. So... We may Just have to improvise know. if that happens. Um, weather's supposed to be good, and we'll check it again before we take off. But this kind of weather, man, yeah. I don't understand how you could get sick. We're not going to be doing any maneuvers or anything. Okay. Even if you do, I, I ride roller coasters. I've, I've had I enjoy free falling. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'll be screaming a lot. I'm sure because we'll be close to death. But well, yeah. Take your microphone away if you're screaming. All right, the plane's here. That is a good start. <laughs> is it this one here that's exposed? Uh oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> is it that one? I don't want to fly in that one. No, that one's super efficient. Starting our base now. Zero Mike Victor. Zero Zero Mike Victor, you send that pilot discretion. Send it our discretion. Silver number two five Tango, snuggle up to the hold line. You're next. Two five Tango. Saying, get ready. And he's probably saying, we're gonna kind of go in a hurry, so be ready. Zero Mike Victor on your uh, base turn heading. He should be about your 11 o'clock and two miles. Okay, we've got him now. Positive contact. Zero Mike Victor. Flex ship 411, turn left at Echo. Taxi on the Alpha Ground Point 6. Echo Alpha Point 6. I think he'll give us a line up and wait right after that guy lands. Hopefully it's a little plane so there's not any problem. Number two five tango, turn left heading zero four zero, runway one five, clear for takeoff. Left heading zero four zero, clear for takeoff, one five, two five tango. Number four eight zero traffic will be departing on a zero four zero heading climbing via part two thousand. Five left at that four zero. And finals clear. I'm surprised he didn't have us already lined up and waiting. Victor, you have the bonanza in sight? Roger. Okay. Fuel pumps on, props full forward, make sure full. Speed good for 5 Hill November? Thank you very Speed much. Good. Good. Sorry about that. It's alright. November 7A Whiskey, runway 15, third land. That's 7A Whiskey, thanks. November 50, November number 2, runway 15, third land. Number 2, 50, November, thank you. November 20, Mike Victor, number 3, runway 15, third land. Traffic approaching off your left on a base. Number 3, clear to land. We'll be looking That's a lot more choppy than I expected. <laughs> Start your right downwind turn. The right downwind, 42. Little windy today. It may be fine once we get up a little bit. Number 25 Tango, climb and maintain VFR at 2,500. VFR at 2,500, does that take them? That'll be for traffic inbound. Turning on a downwind, you can contact regional to Pacha. That traffic's at pattern altitude. All right, over to regional now. 25 Tango? Yep. Okay, 124.3, 25 Tango. Over to 997125. 124.25, 500, Two nine nine zero Charlie Lima to send to maintain four thousand. Four thousand two ninety Charlie Lima. Departure arrow one one two five Tango climbing to two thousand five hundred. Arrow one one two five Tango, thank you. Uh, you are clear in DBS to be classified where space. Uh, present heading maintain two thousand five hundred for now. I cleared in Bravo maintain two thousand five hundred two five Tango. 
154 Mike Papa, descend and maintain 2000. Oh, Mike Papa, down to two. November Niner Air Experimental 9081, uh, you can resume navigation for Dayton Airport and uh, maintain VFR at or below 3,000 feet. Uh, 981, at or below 3,500, is that what I heard? At or below 3,000, if you would, please. All right, down below, at or below 3, 981. Air share four, uh, 346, the center maintain 4,000. On the floor, air share 346. And 406 Victor Julia, just want to confirm you can take 13 left, correct? That's a firm, 66 Julia. Thank you. Remember, 154 Mike Papa, turn left hitting 240, Addison Airport is going to be off to your left, 9 o'clock and uh, 7 miles. 2404 Mike Papa, and we've got the airport, sir. Number 4 Mike Papa, thank you. On that heading, square the base, clear visual approach from my wall. Wow. 4 Mike Papa, clear the base. This is unusually bumpy. The 290 Charlie Lima traffic, 1 o'clock in a mile northeast bound at uh, 2500 VFR Piper Cherokee. Look in uh, 290 Charlie Lima. November 25 Tango, proceed on course. Proceed on course, 25 Tango. 154 Mike Papa, contact the Addison Tower 126.0, good day. Airshare 346, reduce speed to 190. Go to 190, Airshare 346. Number 25 Tango, can climb via for to 3,500. Climb to 3,500, 25 Tango. And approach 6, Victor Julia, you still have it. Southwest 3135, turn right, hitting 190. 190, 3135. Number four, Sierra Bravo, turn riding one two zero. Traffic off your right, two o'clock in four miles northwest. Pond at uh, three thousand five hundred VFR, Piper Cherokee. Okay, we're looking and heading one two zero seven nine four Sierra Bravo. Piper one one two five Tango, traffic twelve o'clock three miles southeast. Pond at four thousand Challenger Jet. And we're looking two five Tango. Should be straight in front of us. Four hundred feet above us. Small departure, Saratoga 105 Hotel Papa with you passing through 1000. Yeah, okay, November 105 Hotel Papa, okay. reason on the park. Yeah. 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 Southeast of uh, McKinney Airport in Columbia, part of 2500. What's that? 739 Tango Sierra has the airport in sight. Commander Tango Sierra, contact the uh, McKinney Tower 118.82, 1882. Good day, sir. Contact the Good day, 739 Tango Sierra. Number 1125 Tango Columbia, part of 6500. Up to 6,500, Number 4, Sierra Bravo, you're following a site at uh, Boeing 737, sorry about that. Boeing 737, 11 o'clock and 3 miles south, sound at uh, 2,000 feet. Now we're looking for him, 4, Sierra Bravo. November 25, Tango, contact uh, 4, Sierra 124.75, good day. 124.75, 25, Tango. Fort Worth Center. Fort Worth Center, 1125 Tango, level 6500. November 1125 Tango, Fort Worth Center, Oak City, Altimeter is 3002. 3002, 25 Tango. Feel yeah, like a nap. Yeah, Courtney's usually asleep by now. <laughs> We've got still about 96 miles left to go. Autopilot. Look at this. So most likely they're going to have us landing on 1-8, and we're going to go about where it says HS-1. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Number 94 Victor, that traffic's back from behind you now, no factor. Alright, I'm coming back up to 5,000. Yeah, this is why I love this dude, man. I can go here, pull up this, it's going to already have Norman in there, pull up the weather. So it went from 150, that means 18 is going to be the best uh, runway to use. I can also pull up frequency, A loss, so 119.55. I'm going to go ahead and dial that in, 119. 124.6. Good day. And I'm just going to have that set, so anytime we want to listen to their weather, pull that up. And, got localized for 1-8. And it's still kind of crazy. 
Tango Oak City approach, Roger BFR descent for west timer your discretion. A was available 119.55, the landing runway 18. Alright, descent at our discretion and we have the weather at 25 Tango. Looney 7130 Victor, Connect Fort Worth Center 128.4, see ya. Cherokee 1125 Tango, Connect West Timer Tower 118.0. 118.0, 25 Tango. Is that right? Yep. West Hammer Tower, Arrow 1125 Tango, descending from North Tower. Arrow 1125 Tango, West Hammer Tower, traffic at Cherokee, one mile final, runway 18. Permit 18 cleared to land, the wind is 17018. Permit 18 cleared to land, we'll make uh, the left downwind from 1825 Tango. GoPro in the airplane, but don't turn the radio in. Yeah, yeah. How do you do that? Yeah, you, push, you push a button, man. So Ken and I have made it. We're in Norman. And uh, now we're heading. We're going to go get uh, maybe a beer and some appetizers. Yeah, yeah. It's better. Front camera. You can see what's was, going on. Hey, well, why don't you hold it since I'm driving? <laughs> I got an idea. That's a great idea. Yeah. Let me hold that. Yeah. If you, hey, so uh, how do you feel like going to the bar I used to work at? Uh, I heard that that's a pretty sleazy bar, but uh, check it out. All right. Hey, turn left. Turn left. Right. Do we need to keep this on the whole time? Uh, not the whole time. We just until we do something interesting. So the whole time. I got nothing. I, I mean, uh, do you have a duck voice or anything? I mean. <laughs> Is that a duck voice? Yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. I have a Donald Duck voice. Yeah. Uh, telling you. Do you have a uh, penguin voice? I think when I hear about penguin voices, I think of the Madagascar penguins. Thank you. And I can't think of any of their, na any of their names. How about uh, a cat? Yeah, a cat voice or a dog voice. <laughs> yeah, that's one that's funny to me. Uh, no, no, I don't do an old fud. Uh, I can do a Barney. A Barney who? The dinosaur? The purple dinosaur. Which, all, which also, oddly enough, is very similar to maybe even a Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a good one. There's a Kermit the yeah, Frog. Yeah, let's see what we got with that. Go with that. That was the, that was the bit. That was it. That was the bit, folks. That was the bit. How about uh, Kermit the Frog announces where we're going or the weather? Kermit the Frog is announcing that we are going to the um, Irish pub of uh, O'Connell. See, this is a voice you should add to your demo, man. Show some, show some variety. Some variety. Here we are. I'm eating. Uh, at uh, O'Connell? O'Connell Pub? O'Connell. O'Connell. 
It's got, it's got an S in here. Look at the top. Yes. Oh, panels. Perfect. Got some potatoes. Got some chicken strips. Yeah, chicken strips and some, uh, some potatoes. Some really healthy eating. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's how you live to be 65. All right. We made it. Final destination. Yep. I appreciate it, Kyle. Thanks for thanks for flying me here. You're welcome. And uh, to all our to all our viewers at home. God! <laughs> thanks for watching. Yeah. And, thanks. Uh, and subscribe. Be yeah, sure to hit yeah, that sure, like hey, button. Hey, look down below. Subscribe. Hey, nothing. And nothing at all in the links. Like it uh, somewhere. Do a like. Add comments. All right.